Well, look, a full comprehensive balanced budget is the only way that people who rely on state services, uh, who rely on state funding, all the organizations who provide social services and education across the state, it's the only way they can have predictability and confidence going forward that they can continue to meet the needs of the people. The reason we have to have reforms is because we've been through this, uh, this mess before. We've seen unbalanced budget after unbalanced budget. We're seeing people leave the state of Illinois. We're seeing our pension costs continue to rise. Well, right now, we're looking at state agencies uh, not even be, being able to uh, buy simple things like in the Department of Corrections, the food that's needed for, uh, for inmates. Um, we are struggling a little bit to even make payroll, to pay the utility bills, which in the, in the small municipalities that a lot of, say, prisons um, are located, those municipalities depend on the utility payments. So you have small municipalities with very, very small budgets who are having to figure out how they're going to keep the water department open. When we don't have a budget, these institutions that are so important to our kids, they can't plan for staffing decisions, they can't plan for a budget for next year, and that if it impacts students because that can increase class sizes, delay capital projects. This is impacting our students every day. And we need the certainty that a balanced budget with reforms will bring to this state. Lack of a budget has caused a lack of MAP grants being funded. So I have a young lady that's qualified for a Apple scholarship uh, through the state of Illinois, but without the MAP grants, she was informed in the same letter that she qualified for it, but she also there's no funding for it. So uh, one of our top students at a school in Southern Illinois in my district has chosen to now go to school out of state, which means that uh, she'll get her degree out of the state of Illinois, possibly not come back. And so uh, not having those MAP grants are uh, targeting our youth, the top kids that uh, need an opportunity to do their best right in Illinois. We need to keep our top kids uh, in the state of Illinois. Uh, we need pension reform because it's one thing that sets Illinois apart from almost every other state. Illinois' pension burden today is higher than anybody. We need to have real substantive reform that will make sure that in, in future years, we're not just fighting the same kind of crisis that we're fighting right now. Property taxes are too high. People here in Illinois continue to get hit with increased uh, property tax bills. And what that does is it pushes people out of the state instead of allowing them to stay here and grow here and grow our economy. Illinois is on year two without a balanced budget, and one of the things that may help pass a balanced budget through both chambers is to have fair maps so that our representatives and senators are more focused on doing the job of the people and representing the constituency instead of those of the political bosses.